name is Brenda Garcia Spencer, and we have, I've been coming to Catalyst for six years now. Growing up, uh, my mom always did hair, and I remember being a little girl and I had every hairstyle cut, whatever it was. I got a hair license only because it was something, if I chose to do nothing else, I could always fall back on that. About six, seven years ago, um, I was able to open up my own salon. It was right around that time that I really started to feel like that was really where I was supposed to be, not necessarily with doing hair. I think the real connections come from being able a lot of times to be a soundboard for them and hopefully be a little sense of peace while they're sitting in the chair. I love to help people. I love to not necessarily fix people, but I like to connect them to something or helping them work through something. But it's hard for me to just walk up to somebody and say, hey, can I help you with something? I have, you know, I have a platform to where they can come and they can sit in my chair and be vulnerable enough to talk to me and to where it's comfortable enough. You know, I never know who I know that's going to be able to help with them. So being here behind the chair, I think is the best way for my calling of being helpful to um, be able to connect those two together. Two people who work here, the owner and the stylist, put out an open call on Facebook telling people they would provide free pampering to anyone impacted by the tornado. Just about every beauty tool imaginable is within reach at Brenda Garcia Spencer's workstation. How's the house coming along? But maybe, at least today, the most valuable one is her offer to listen. I think it really helps for people to talk and get it out and process, kind of part of the healing process to me. It's what Garcia Spencer and Susie Vogel have been doing over the last two days, giving free haircuts to survivors of the tornadoes. Having a salon, I really didn't know what to do. We've been out there hands-on helping clean up debris and stuff, but I really feel that just coming in and getting pampered, even if it's only for 15, 30 minutes, at least just takes some stress off. They figure people might appreciate a free cut, but also a little break. That's the biggest thing is, is there's been a big smile on their face. And if that's something that only lasts until they get to the car, it's at least that moment of whatever normal is, they feel normal at that moment. A parent can't afford to get a haircut or something, and we've been able to offer that because we are a small salon and I love being able to give back.